Hey Gear Seekers, I'm Nick. I've been talking about doing a video with the Intel Arc GPUs in Linux and to see what the story was with running these new Intel GPUs in Linux. And in summary, just to kick off the video, it's really, really not good. But what is not good about it? Let's chat. I'll start off by saying this video I know is not going to be everybody's cup of tea, but there are some really big things that Intel needs to fix with these new Arc GPUs. And the first thing is as simple as installing the drivers. Now with the Intel Arc GPUs, you only really have one option to use this GPU in Linux. <laughs> Sounds pretty stupid, right? The most open operating system platform and you've only got one option. That option is Ubuntu 22.04. What? Not only that, there's no easy way for people who are getting into Linux to do this. You really need to be a terminal warrior to get these drivers installed. There's a whole bunch of steps here and I'll just go through these steps and show you what they are just so you can see how antiquated all of this is. Now for the seasoned Linux and Ubuntu users out there, this is not going to be too much of a problem. But for anyone else who wants to even just try out Linux with these Intel Arc GPUs, not to say here that these steps here don't work. Now I know that installing kernel modules for GPUs is a normal thing for most Linux users. That's not the problem here. My problem is it should just be a single package. It just makes it easier. Now, there are packages where you can just get a D package, for instance, for NVIDIA GPUs or AMD GPUs that'll just do all the background legwork if you really, really want it to. Now, that is not my problem with the Linux support here whatsoever. The kernel modules is a more than adequate solution. I just wish it was a little bit easier for people out there who aren't as versed in Linux. Once you get an Intel Arc GPU up and running in Linux, and by Linux I mean Ubuntu 22.04, one distribution. How is the actual graphical performance? Well, this is incredibly hit and missed at best. And I know this video is taking a different turn to the way we usually would do a GPU video, but there's not a lot to show because a lot just does not work. And this is the case in Windows a lot of the time as well. So what I decided to do was do our usual thing, run our regular suite of benchmarks to show you the performance, right? Because that's what we do. So we ran Shadow of the Tomb Raider here. And as you can see, the performance is really, really average. Nowhere near what we saw with the performance in Windows with the A770. Then we ran Unigen Superposition and we could only get the 4K optimized benchmark to run, right? Only one benchmark out of the three that we usually do. With that single test there, I started to see a bit of a pattern emerging. Next up, we ran Cyberpunk 2077 with DXVK with Proton. The system hung. It didn't work. Didn't even get close to launching. When I click play, it just straight up freezed. All right, Cyberpunk 2077 using Proton. It doesn't matter which version of Proton that we use, we see the same result here. Ready, play. If this works in any of these, then I'll definitely eat my words, but I won't be eating any words. So the second we hit play, move the mouse. Oh, it launched. Unbelievable, unfreaking believable. Unfreaking believable, it actually worked. Well, I couldn't get this to work before, and now it's working. This might be the only time that I've eaten my words, ladies and gents, in a video. Graphics, we'll set that to the high preset. All that other stuff is fine. We'll run it at 4K, and we'll see what happens. Look at that, a very cinematic 17 frames per second. I 
can't believe Cyberpunk actually worked after me fiddling with it for hours and it not working. And then it just worked all of a sudden. This is actually a bad thing as well because this just shows that it's unpredictable. I wonder if it will launch again. It probably will now that I say it. Every other time when I clicked play, there it is, it happened. Yes, yes, it only ran once. Look, completely hung up, completely unresponsive. I can't do anything. Yes, yes. I don't know why I'm happy about it not working. <laughs> then we moved on to Horizon Zero Dawn. I got this to launch once and then it froze. I didn't even get to the point where I could run the benchmark. I clicked start benchmark and it hung. And then the game never launched again. The system completely hung up. All right, here's Horizon Zero Dawn. Please don't make me look stupid by working. Oh, no, no, no launchy. Nope, unfortunately the game has crashed. Uh, no, and it doesn't matter what version of Proton we use to launch that, that's no dice. Next up, what I decided to do was actually go through my Steam library and install a bunch of games that natively run on Linux. So I installed CSGO, City Skylines, Universe Sandbox, and just a couple of titles to see what the story was with the Intel Arc GPU on Linux. So first of all, I ran CSGO or more like I didn't run CSGO because the second I clicked launch, it presented a black screen and instantly crashed. Let me show you what I was talking about with CSGO just so you can get a bit of an understanding as to my reasoning behind my little bit of rantiness, right? CSGO, this is a native Linux binary. Ready? Here we go. CSGO, the most... Uh, Beloved video game of all time, and this is about as far as we get. Yeah, this is really good. I love my black screen CSGO. Look at that. CSGO Linux 64 is not responding. If we wait, it still hangs. If we don't wait, we force quit, and we force quit. Now, CSGO is a game that you would think would work. It's been out for a very long time. It runs really well natively on Linux with other GPUs, but with the Intel Arc GPU, it absolutely crashed and burned, right? It just would not work. And there was no way for me to actually get this to work. I wasted a lot of time on this. Next up, something a, a bit more interesting. I ran Universe Sandbox. This works, this one works. Let's see if it actually shows us the warning. There it is, there it is. You have 512 megabytes of video memory, but 2048 megabytes is required. It's a 16 gig card. Hopefully you can read that, but this actually runs quite well, right? I'm not going to be doing a lot here. This is just, whoa, that's very bright. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, look, it's your mom's planet. Uranus. Your anus. I know it's not pronounced Uranus. It's Uranus. Why can't they just change the name of it? Why would they call it Uranus? <laughs> universe Sandbox isn't a game, it's kind of like a universe simulator and I'm happy to report that Universe Sandbox actually worked. Other than that little video memory warning, this ran without any issue whatsoever. You can crank the settings up all the way, you can run it at 4K. This is a really CPU bound physics simulation of the universe. So. The GPU doesn't play too much into it. You only need two gigs of video memory as it is anyway, and it seemed to run fine. The next thing I wanted to test was City Skylines. Now, I actually didn't have hope that this would work at all, but I'm happy to report City Skylines ran fine, at least in my limited knowledge of how to play this game, because I have played uh, all of maybe an hour of this game in my whole life, but it seemed to launch and run and actually get into the games without any problems. The biggest surprise for me was the fact that CSGO didn't work in Linux, even though it's a native binary. And we've seen Intel Arc GPU support and performance improve with CSGO in Windows over the last few months. So in Windows, the GPU is looking to be fairly okay especially for people who are looking at a decent mid-range GPU, but for Linux users out there who are looking at getting into buying an Intel Arc GPU, for now, 
I would say absolutely avoid any Intel Arc GPUs. Now, the other thing I wanted to address is I've seen a few videos from people talking about and commenting on the Arc GPUs in Linux and saying that the support is good and whatnot, but those people haven't even bought one of these GPUs themselves. They don't even own one. They've never even used one in Linux. So commenting on the usability and stability of these GPUs in Linux without actually using them makes absolutely no sense to me. <laughs> it's uh, kind of ridiculous if I'm being honest. If you want to have an opinion on something, show the testing so we can see it actually working. Don't just say that it's working all well and good. Obviously, I haven't tested every single game on Earth with the A770 in Linux. However, there are a few indications to kind of point in the direction of this GPU just not being ready for Linux users. Now, out of all the tests we did, Shadow of the Tomb Raider ran fine, right? It ran fine. All that at 4K, 40 frames per second, it's looking a bit cinematic. If we look at Unigen Superposition performance, we can only run at 4K optimized and the performance there was pretty average. We couldn't even get other resolutions to run. So, you know, that's to really show you what's going on with stability. Now CSGO again, very confusing that it wouldn't even launch at all. It just doesn't work. Cyberpunk and Horizon Zero Dawn, the fact that it doesn't give you an error message. It doesn't give you anything to indicate that there's a problem. The system quite literally hangs up and becomes unresponsive, which plays on the stability. Now, as for other workloads in Linux, as far as I can tell, especially with things like Blender and from reports that I've seen, it's average, but from what I've experienced today and the last few days with the Intel Arc GPUs in Linux, it's a no from me. Yeah, and I didn't expect this video to go this way, but it honestly frustrated me that much that almost nothing that I really wanted to do worked in Linux. By Linux, I mean Ubuntu 22.04. So yeah, avoid, 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 avoid. Don't, don't buy this if you're gonna be using Linux. And I think that's just about gonna do it for this really weird video. Usually I like to talk about positive things in the tech world, but this is just something that I find is a bit of a problem. And that ladies and gents is the state of Intel Arc on Linux right now. And there's nothing to say that it won't change in the future, but for now it's a bit of a nightmare. Now, if you like videos like this, let me know in the comments and let me know everything that I said wrong, especially if you're really into Linux. <laughs> I'm sorry, it just had to be said, but I love you guys all very, very much. And I do appreciate your feedback and all these kinds of videos. And this video is probably going to make some people pretty mad, but that's okay, right? That's what we're here for. Everyone's got an opinion, but I've got some facts here because I've actually used the thing in Linux. Anyways, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, do all that jazz. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers. You peak, we seek, and what a time to be alive. Imagine people getting angry on the internet, Claire. Um, imagine. <laughs> Thanks for watching, you're all amazing. I'm not even being sarcastic. <laughs> I actually think you guys are amazing. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Let's take a look at how broken this is.